Good day and welcome to today's tutorial. In, this, in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at NVR CCTV system wiring, complete wiring, and this is basically for IP cameras. So before then, we're going to look at a few important terminologies, one of which is the NVR. The NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It is what stores and um, records the video fits from the network line. Then, of course, the second is a network switch that will give that internet connections between devices. Then, of course, the IP cameras. Now, these cameras are different from the analog cameras we used to have. These ones, they have an internet slot. Then, it's adapter. Now, now, this will be used to power on the NVR and the DVR. Then, we have a router. Now, a router is that device that creates the, con the internet connection for you. Now looking at the architecture of the NVR, it's almost similar to that of the DVR that we looked at in the analog systems. Now the only difference and the major difference here is that in the case of the NVR, you have Ethernet ports behind the device that serve as the inputs from the from that serves as inputs from the camera from the camera, unlike where we were using um, the DNC connector in the analog system. So these ones they use Ethernet because they need Ethernet connections to actually operate. Aside from this variation, there is no any other variation between the NVR and the DVR. So this is the major variation. The NVR is an Ethernet based system, while the DVR is an analog based system. So we're going to be setting out a few items that we're going to be using in the course of this installation. That's the router of course then the bullet IP cameras. Subsequently, you're going to see the different types of cameras, or you could actually Google it and see the different kind of cameras. This is actually a dummy camera, and of course, we're going to need power for it on major AC supply. Then we are at various points. Then the adapter, this is used for the router and the NVR, of course. Then we have a mouse to control major settings. Like we need to configure the NVR. Then a monitor to manage the CCTV cameras. And of course, if we're using a monitor, we're going to be needing a VGA cable, as we have looked at in the, in the case of a DVR as well, and an Ethernet cable for the internet connections between the router and the NVR and as such the cameras as well. So a laptop for online NVR configuration, you're going to have to configure the cameras using a laptop. Now we need an Ethernet cable to actually make the wiring between the router and the NVR and the cameras as well. So from the ports on your NVR, you connect to the router slot on the NVR and then to the switch. Now the switch in this case is, ma is mainly used for distribution. You could actually connect directly to the NVR to the cameras without having to connect to the switch per se but the switch is just there for if you have a large system and you need to connect uh, multiple rooms together so the switch will serve as uh, a, a bridge between the DVR be between the NVR sorry and the cameras so you can see how you just use your internet cable to actually connect directly from the switch to various points of where you'll be installed in the cameras, you will find the internet slot in the cameras. Now, if you look at the cameras, there are two different outlets, just like we have in the DV in analog cameras. One is that of a internet, and the other is the power, the power line. Now, we do not need power in this case because we're using power over internet cable. Now, you have to buy power over Ethernet cable. You you go to the market and purchase that. Now we need 
a VGA cable or a HDMI cable, depending on what you're using, either a laptop or, uh, a, or a TV. Now, of course, you're going to have to power on the system. The, your router and, of course, your DVR would have to be connected to the power supply, uh, AC power supply. But, of course, you're going to need to power on the cameras, so you need an adapter for that. This is basically how to wire an IP camera system.